In this video, I am going to show you how to use PowerShell to extract metadata from Exchange MSG files. Before I continue, I do want to point out that SharePoint already has an out-of-the-box functionality to exchange the metadata, but it only does that for the Exchange EML files. And to prove that, I'm actually going to do a quick demo. Um, so this document library plus the SharePoint environment, I've already set it up with inbound incoming email. So we can take a quick look at that. Um, I'm going to go into the library settings and I can see the incoming email is email docs at the server name dot global name dot biz. So let's just go ahead and, and do that real quick. I'm going to send it to that same email address and subject. Um, this is to prove a point and let's send it. Let's go over here. And we see that the email has arrived. I can always tell by the modified date too. Um, so I'm gonna hover my mouse over this email and keep your eye on this URL which shows up in this region. So when I take my mouse over here, you will see the email um, file is an EML file. That's what it shows, SharePoint.EML. Now these ones over here, if you look at their URLs, I mean, their links, it's ending with .msg. So it's this one, this one, this one. But this one was the EML. Um, so let's actually go into the document library. I want to modify the view. And these columns over here, these were out of the box. I didn't add them, but the document library by itself has this functionality. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, select these, say OK. And now you can see that for this EML file, um, SharePoint has this amazing functionality to automatically extract all this metadata. As you can see, it extracted the email from, the header, who sent it, email subject, etc. Um, but again, it, it doesn't do that for the MSG files. It only did that for the um, EML files. All right, so for the sake of this example, this test was done. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Okay, that's fine. And now we're going to actually go into what this whole um, video is based on. So consider a scenario where you have all these MSG files from some archived you know, location and you want to store it in one place and as much as possible have some extracted data available over there. Um, and that's what this whole article is about where I've got these four MSG files stored in this document library. Uh, and now we're going to extract this metadata. Uh, in this scenario, I'm going to use PowerShell uh, to attract, uh, extract the metadata. So let's go into the SharePoint server um, and let's look at these um, PS1 files that I have. Um, I have two. One is the download files and the other one is the MSG extract. Uh, let's look at the, take a quick look at the download files um, when I open it up. Um, you have to put in your destination um, where the um, MSG files are going to be um, temporarily saved, the the web apps URL, and then the URL, the complete URL of the list. And this is basically just what the um, entire function call is. Um, and then this one over here is basically the whole um, script or the uh, the other yeah, script which. Um, goes ahead and it pulls um, the, I mean, extracts the metadata from the MSG files that we downloaded. Uh, one thing I do need to point out that just for this example, I used um, 7z or 7zip as the um, uh, application which does, uh, which extracts the um, MSG files. Um, this is a, um, a free application which is available, and for this example, that's what I'm going to use. So uh, before we deep dive into the script, let's actually run a quick demo and then we can come back over here. So the first thing I want to run is to download the files and, and the way I've put it over here is it's going to temporarily store it in the MSG folder. So let's go to the MSG folder and it's empty. Um, so let's go ahead now and run the download files. So I'm going to download, hit that. It's running.
it's completed. Um, so now when we go back to the folder and I click on MSG, there you go. Those are the four uh, MSG files, the exact same ones which are located over here in the email docs document library. Um, now let's go and run the second um, script which is the MSG extract. And the way I've written the script over here is so that it actually gives some uh, right hosts, which basically tells you which file it is dealing with. It ran through all of them um, and it's complete. So now let's go back to the site. Um, and now if I go into the list, we've got email docs list. Um, yeah, email docs list. You can see that it has extracted the metadata. It's extracted the two, the CC from topic. And it, it basically did all that using that PowerShell. Um, so what's neat is if you actually go ahead and, and say in, in this home page I've done an example where these are actually the MSG files on the doc and then this is the email docs to list you can actually set up a relationship where every time I click on one of them it shows all the metadata which was extracted. Um, so this script by itself takes care of all of that. Um, what I want to do is quickly look into the script and kind of walk through it so you can basically see what it all, all takes care of. Um, so this section as a comment I've put in over there is basically just the location of all the directories um, and this is the location of the site collection, the location of the list. Uh, it makes the object calls where it assigns different variables to again the um, all the previous variables that we put in. Um, one thing I do want to point out that there is a, 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 a document, uh, I mean there's a folder over here that you do not see but a temporary folder called extracted MSG is created um, or a directory is created. What that place does is it, it temporarily houses all the extracted MSG file information because it'll, it'll pull it up as a whole bunch of information and it stores it over there. Uh, and once it's done, uh, when the whole process is done, it actually goes ahead and deletes that as well. Um, so in that way, it doesn't house or, you know, uh, I mean, consume all the memory in your drive. Uh, but it does use it as a temporary location, so you want to keep that in mind depending on how many MSG files you have. Um, and then this over here, this function is what calls um, all these different sections for the extraction that we do. Uh, in this case, it is you know, things like the subject, the CC, from, and etc. Um, I also missed a point over here that you know, this section is, is customized for that 7-zip because what it does is it extracts um, extracts the data from that 7-zip and uh, from the uh, MSG file and uh, there is this you can do that through the um, the command prompt and that's the specific command prompt for that 7-zip application so in your case if you choose a different type of application extracted you need to see what are the uh, the commands to do that over there um, now this little section over here is what goes through the loop um, it'll actually go in and pick up each and every MSG file that you have and it'll ex extract the MS data from the MSG file and it'll put it in the list. This is the list. This is what the extracted data is from the MSG and this is your column name and it goes through the loop. It'll pick up each and every MSG file that's docked in. It goes to its extracted data and then it populates the information. Um, once it is all done, it'll go ahead and um, clean up that, um, that folder which is temporarily housed. Um, and that's what it does over here, also extracted metadata. It also goes ahead and cleans up the MSG file. So this location temporarily houses that same MSG file which is located in your library. Uh, but once it's done, it'll, it'll delete that as well. Um, so what you could do in an essence is actually build a batch file um, or you can build a second Power, PowerShell script which basically runs these two in sequence um, and then you can add that to your task yeah, call that as a uh, task in your server's task scheduler and make it run as often as possible. Um, another few things to notice is um, all these uh, directory structure completely depends on how you've, um, you know, where you've uh, placed all these power uh, power ship power shell scripts. Uh, but it is important that by the way you put it, all of these should go in together. So in my case, I've just got this one folder. Um, and I've put all of them in one location. Um, all of this entire folder, I have gone ahead and zipped it and put it in my OneDrive and you will have access to that in my article as well to download it. Uh, so I hope this will be helpful and uh, have a great SharePoint day.